Hey there, Jim Schlexer with the CEO Project. Even as CEO, there may come a time where it's time for you to leave your job. People don't think about it as that CEOs leave their job, but they do all the time. So when, and what are the factors you need to consider that it's time for me to leave the job? And, and realize that, that this varies. There are CEOs that have stayed in the job for 30 years, continually reinvented themselves and done amazing work. But the average tenure for a CEO is below five years. And there's a reason for that. Generally, when you come into the job, you're full of ideas, you try to understand the business, you begin to deploy those ideas over the first year or two, year three, four, you begin to see the fruits of those labors, now those changes begin to improve the performance of the business. And at year five, you're sort of running out of gas on that round of improvement. Now, the people that stay for 30 years reinvent, come up with a whole new set of ideas or are continuously coming up with new ideas, and they continue that cycle of improvement in the business on and on and on. But many of us, we sort of go through our largely our bag of tricks. We don't have a ton of other things that we can do. And our cycle is done. It's time to hand the baton to another CEO and let them do their thing because they're going to come up with a new set of ideas and improve the business to another level. So five years is around the average. So that's certainly one reason to leave. I've done what I came here to do. I came here for five years, I massively improved the business, it's time for me to go on and do something different. It may be something bigger, it may be in a different industry, but it's time for me to go. The second one, and this one's a little more subtle, is that you are low on energy. In other words, early days, we're super energetic about the job, we're full of ideas, we're, we can do any amount of work, it doesn't bother us. But frankly, over time, your interest level, your energy level begins to wane potentially. It doesn't always happen, but if it is, it's a sure sign that it's time for you to go do something different where you're maximizing, you're full of energy, and you're loving what you're doing every day of the week. It's hard to imagine a CEO waking up in the morning and saying, man, I really don't want to go into work today, but it happens. And if it's happening to you on a regular basis, just like the advice you give to any other employee, maybe you need to find something else. And the final one, and, and this people don't think this happens to CEOs, but it does all the time, that you're not being paid for what you do. Now, normally, you probably your, your salary is okay, and maybe your bonus is even okay. But frankly, if you're dramatically changing the performance of the business for the owners, which is what we're paid to do as CEOs, you should participate in the creation of wealth that you are doing for them, whether it's equity or some other element. And if you're not, you may be underpaid. And we run into this situation all the time where somebody sort of gets into a job, they, they don't know to negotiate for these things, and it turns out that they're massively underpaid for the great work that they're doing. Now, obviously, the first move is to try to solve that, but if you can't solve the problem of being paid for what you're doing, that may be a sure sign that it's time to find another job. So, as CEO, we don't leave often, but if you've done what you've come here to do, or you've really lost the energy and the emotion around doing what you do, or frankly, you're not paid for what you do, it may be time for you to find something different. <music>